Micron just broke through $219 a share. And the question everyone's asking is, can this run actually continue? Or are we about to watch the next AI stock correction hit memory first? Because while everyone's talking about NVIDIA, Micron quietly pulled in nearly $2 billion in high-speed memory revenue in a single quarter. And if demand keeps up, that number could quadruple. A new generation of chips is coming that moves data faster than ever. But there's a catch. Those production lines, they're already booked solid through the end of this year, 2025. That's either a dream setup for profit or a trap that's waiting to snap if AI budgets slow down or if customers miss deadlines. And most investors have no idea how deep Micron's design wins go. That new AMD AI chip, Micron's parts are inside of it. When a top GPU locks in your hardware, the rest of the market tends to follow. And that's how you quietly build dominance in the semiconductor space. And it's the signal that I'm watching that I don't hear anybody talking about. In this video, I'm going to show you why Micron's setup looks nothing like its past cycles. Of course, I'll also cover the real risk bait that's baked into that $211 price tag and the one metric that tells us whether this AI memory boom has legs or not. Hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999, and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That's a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. All right, so let's get into it. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by almost six times. Go to fool.com slash Rico to get your 10 stock picks right now. Micron builds the memory and storage that power modern computing. From high-speed chips that are used in AI data centers, to flash storage inside your phone, PC, or car. In short, if a device processes data fast, there's a good chance Micron built part of it. Now, their mission is big to transform how the world uses information. But unlike most corporate slogans, Micron actually builds the backbone that makes AI and cloud computing work. The company was founded in 1978 in Boise, Idaho, and they started as a four person team, get this, in a dentist's basement, and grew the company into a 200 billion dollar behemoth through decades of execution and innovation. That's not luck, that's staying power. Now, today, Micron is entering a make or break era as AI reshapes how we use memory and data. Memory chips, they aren't just components. They're the throttle that determines how fast AI models can think and scale. Micron's culture also focuses on innovation and inclusive teams. And in technology, that's not just feel good talk. The right teams build better chips, build better chips, and you get better margins. It's as simple as that. Micron recently passed 60,000 granted patents. That's 60,000 proof points that they're reacting to change. So they're setting the pace, and that's the backdrop. But how does it translate to investors right now? Well, the stock has grown by around 160% year to date and 104% over the last 52 weeks. That's an incredible run. But is this momentum real or is it sustainable growth? Well, for that, we have to look at Micron's growth cat catalysts. So Micron's next generation memory, the kind that's used in AI chips, is finally in full production. Think of it like stacked layers of ultra fast memory sitting right in front or right beside that AI processor. And that setup moves data faster and uses less energy, exactly what the massive data centers need as AI models get bigger. These chips matter because they help AI systems run faster without overheating or wasting power. And when every watt counts, that advantage becomes a competitive moat. 
Now, in the last quarter alone, Micron pulled nearly $2 billion in revenue from this high-end memory segment. And if that pace continues, it could hit $8 billion annually. When you're selling premium chips with full production lines, margins, they start expanding. And if you've traded for a while, you know that margin expansion is where the long-term compounding starts. Another big factor, the design wins. Micron's latest chips are used in AMD's new AI processors. Once a top chip maker picks your part, the rest of the industry takes notice. And that's how design wins cascade into market dominance. They also launched a new generation of data center storage drives that move data even faster between processors and memory. Faster drives mean fewer bottlenecks and more work per watt, which translates directly into more revenue per server rack. Even better, most of Micron's 2026 production capacity is already spoken for. This gives them predictable revenue and lets them plan ahead. In investing terms, that's the kind of visibility that Wall Street loves. So Micron isn't just chasing hype. They're building a runway that could extend through 2027, only if execution stays tight. But every great setup, of course, has its risks, and let's talk about them. First, it's capacity. Those production lines being fully booked, well, it's a double-edged sword. If their big customers delay rollouts or demand changes suddenly, Micron, they can't shift production fast enough. And if a rival brings new lines online sooner, they could steal future orders. And that's a fine line between a boom and a stumble. And in memory manufacturing, timing is everything. Next, we have geopolitical issues. Micron's exposure to China it has been tricky. They've, now, they've scaled back local sales as trade rules and supply chain policies keep shifting. One new restriction on materials or components could delay shipments, hurt pricing, or even squeeze margins. And if you've traded semiconductors before, you know that when politics hit the supply chain, volatility often follows. Policy moves, tariffs, uh, and export bans, they can shift these stocks overnight. Even if the fundamentals stay solid, the headlines alone can shape the market. On top of that, competition, it's intensifying. Rivals are racing to build faster, cooler, more efficient chips. And if one of them ships a better product first, design wins can flip and Micron's share in those next generation AI systems could shrink. Losing a few contracts doesn't sound huge, but in this industry, every lost socket compounds into multiple quarters of slower growth. And that's really how tight this race actually is. Still, if Micron can add capacity on time, improve efficiency, and keep winning new design slots, these headwinds look more like short-term turbulence than long-term problems. AI memory demand isn't slowing. It's stretching out ahead of supply. So as long as management executes, the compounding story stays alive. By the way, I'll be covering Micron's financials and other news in a future video. So be sure to watch out for it. But for now, the question I think everybody's waiting for, is Micron stock a buy? Well, a, a consensus among 37 analysts rate the stock a strong buy with a high target price of around $270 a share. This is a massive company with a lot of volatility and price swings can happen fast from big supply wins to policy shocks. But overall, this price action suggests that investors expect strong and sustained profit growth ahead. So Micron's volatility isn't a flaw. It's part of the reward system. And that's how the market is pricing in leadership in AI memory. But what do you think? Do you think Micron's building the next decade of computing or just riding the AI wave? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons because it'll help others find the video. It supports the channel and you won't miss out on any of my future deep dives. That's it for me today. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.